Look, another big sign right now. There you go. Red handed. On August 28th, India beat Pakistan in the final of the Asia Cup. That sparked an increase in tensions between Hindus and Muslims in the English city of Leicester. We've had numerous reports of an outbreak of disorder in parts of the East Leicester area of the city. Um, we have got officers there. We are taking control of that situation. There are additional officers that are en route and dispersal powers and stop search powers uh, have been authorised. Uh, please do not get involved. We are calling for calm. On September 17th, reports emerged that a Hindu mob had stormed through a Muslim-majority area. One day later, two arrests were made. As of now, The Guardian reports that 47 people have been arrested in Leicester over the incident. Reports are contradictory as to who has instigated the violence. According to Hindu community leaders, Muslims were throwing bottles and assaulting people on the streets. According to Muslim leaders, the Hindus were the ones who were in charge of instigating the violence. Nevertheless, the two communities have come together in a joint statement condemning hostilities and urging for peace. While this is not the first time that violence has broken over, out over sporting events in the UK, primarily over football and rugby, uh, it is unusual to see this scale, especially with cricket. However, that being said, India and Pakistan tend to have a tumultuous relationship and matches between the two are often marred by more than just sport. But as brothers and sisters, our two faiths have lived harmoniously in this wonderful city for over half a century. We arrived in this city together. We faced the same challenges together. We fought off racist haters together and collectively made this city a beacon of diversity and community cohesion. That is why today we are saddened and heartbroken to see the eruption of tension and violence, physical attacks on innocent individuals and unwarranted damage to property are not part of a decent society and indeed not part of our faiths. What we have seen is not what we are about. We together call upon the immediate cessation of provocation and violence, both in thought and behavior. We together call upon the inciters of hatred to leave our city alone. We are a strong family. We will work together to resolve whatever concern may arise. We do not need to call upon the assistance from outside of our city. Leicester has no place for foreign extremist ideology that causes division. The Indian High Commission has released a statement urging both sides to settle matters, matters peacefully. However, they've also said that they condemn any attempts to damage Hindu property, including temples. Representatives from Leicester have also called for people to maintain clear heads over the issue. Although, according to reports by The Guardian and The Evening Standards, tensions do not look, seem to be abating anytime soon.